you have dual citizenship, that yeah. you're both uh, a Dane and an American. American. Yeah. How did that happen? My, uh, my mom uh, came to Denmark when she was 18, pregnant with my uh, older brother. Uh, he's like 13 years older than me, so, yeah. you know, long time before I was born. And, um, and she stayed the rest of her life. I think she went back three, four times in her life. She really loved Denmark. And um, then she married my uh, father in, I don't know, 61 or something. Uh -huh. And then I, I, I got here in 75, no, in 84 I was born. No, um, <laughs> no about age. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and my father is Danish, and then I wanted to go to New York and study theater uh, when I was 18, and I discovered that I could get, you know, an American citizenship ah. if, you know, if certain rules and paragraphs were right, and it was, so I became a dual citizen. Well, have you followed the American film industry um, Completely. closely? Completely. All I'm your a life. Film buff, and You're I know everything buff. about American films. Yeah. And Maybe more uh, than Americans does. You know, sometimes oh, I, I'm, sure. I'm amazed that I know, because I had a. My mom was, of course, American, and my father is a jazz musician, so movies have sort of been part of my life always. You know. How how is the uh, Danish film industry different from American? the American? The money. <laughs> the money. For better or worse? Uh, for better and worse. I mean, I mean, Danish film industry is, is uh, I mean, and also the language is very small language, so it's hard to get out there and, you know, right. just, you know, get people to get interested. <laughs> um, but I think that also there's a lot of similar th uh, things in, in Danish and American uh, film, which is, I think, is maybe more interesting that... I think the way that I that I act and my fellow colleagues act, the way we do it, like the, the, the sort of character we build up are very influenced by American film. I mean, back in the 50s and the 40s and the, you know, um, back from maybe before Marlon Brando, you, you, you even knew how to make uh, acting look natural. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that we're very inspired of that. And it's a, kind of a cynical, tough way of acting that I think well, we have in Denmark. And as opposed to the directors, uh, they were mo m most influenced by French cinema in the old days. And now it's getting more and more Americanized and for good and for worse. <laughs> Is this your first trip to Georgia? This is my first trip to Georgia. I've been uh, shooting in Memphis. Ah. I was in a movie five years ago in Memphis, so it's close to, sort of. For me, it's close. But, uh, yeah. What what film was that? It's a film called Forty Shades of Blue. Was it a RSX. Danish? No, it's it, an American film. It was an American film. It won the Grand Jury Prize in Sundance in 2004 or five. Very small part, but com really interesting for me to go work in Memphis, because I always wanted to go to the States and work, and I never had the chance. And then... I didn't go to Hollywood in New York. I, I went to the real America. You know, it was very, very interesting mm -hmm. and very a very big cultural um, experience for me. We Georgia, Georgia is <laughs> trying to um, attract more of the film industry. Uh -huh. there, um, there are all kinds of incentives now. Mm -hmm. uh, there's even part of the uh, Department of Economic Development Wow. Has, is um, dedicated just to promoting films. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, um, in terms of if you were to select a, a locale to do another film, what, what comes to mind? What, would, what encourages you to choose a location, one location over another? Well, um, I would love to shoot a movie in Atlanta. Wow, this is a very photographic city. You know, I've only been here, you know, 36 hours, but uh, it's very photographic, and you're sort of taken by the the, the cleanness of the city. Um, mm -hmm. And then you have the... It's a very... Can I say that in television? It's a very black and white community. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like when you... It's not... And you, you really feel like it's very divided still. It's not uh, like when you go to New York or L.A. where I normally stay. It's more like mixed and everybody's everybody. And But here it's very... It's it, The roots are still... There's still, you know, shadows of the 60s and the 50s and the slavery. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a very... 
you know, it's, it's a very cultural rich city and it has a lot of history and even though we have all the tall buildings and CNN over there, it still smells and feels and, you know, like America 50 years ago. It's, it's, it's a, I don't, I don't, I hope I don't offend anybody. It's not no. men defensive. It's more yeah. like my, These are my your first five impressions. emotions after 36 yeah. hours. Yeah. Uh, a little bit like Memphis too, I mean, but that was really uh, also it had the shadow of, you know, Elvis everywhere. So, right. <laughs> uh, and here is for me, it's Ray Charles. You know, yeah, it's right. Ray Charles and yeah. and uh, James Lucy Brown and James Brown. Little I think Red Morgan Turk. Freeman also, and where is he in Mississippi? Or I, I forget that. Uh, but Ray Charles sang, sang that song from, and I heard that since I was you know two yeah. years old, and it's one of my favorite songs next to Ruby. Uh, right. So, um, and, and I, the first movie I wanted to do was like, it was supposed to open with Georgia on my mind. And I was like 14 at that time, and my mom said, so where do you want to shoot this Georgia and Denmark? I don't know, it's just, just a great song, you know. Uh, so I, I sort of feel uh, very attracted to, you know, places like this.